Stay tuned for Arrogant Detectives. Welcome to another episode of Airgun Detectives. Today we're going to take the mystery out of the Hudson 135, and this one we have in 30 caliber. Yes, 30 caliber. They claim this is the most powerful brake barrel made. Yes, I said I'll say that again, the most powerful brake barrel made. And it's very impressive, actually. Before we get started here, though, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below. If you're not subscribing, please subscribe. If you want to uh, be notified of our new videos coming out, just hit that little bell. And we always appreciate feedback. At least a little thumbs up are always great because then we kind of know how we're doing here. Okay, back to our 135 here. Um, first of all, just for you guys to appreciate a 30 caliber pellet, let me show you the difference between these. Yes, there's a .177, 22, and a 25, and then our 30 caliber. I mean, that 30 caliber is actually pretty impressive. So they claim this is the most powerful brake barrel um, rifle made. In fact, 30 caliber, they were the first ones to come out with a 30 caliber. I'm not sure if somebody else has one out now, but I've had this gun for uh, right when they released it, so I've had it almost two years. Anyway, um, beautiful gun. Comes with the uh, Turkish walnut stock. It's got the beautiful inlays here. Um, comes with the um, quiet energy uh, suppression system, which is a, they're nice. Their quiet energy system is just it's a uh, it works really well. In fact, this gun, the uh, the round impacting makes more sound than the actual gun does. So it's actually really quiet. And yes, it is backyard friendly. Um, it also comes with uh, open sights and it actually has true glow, the green in the back, the red in the front. You can see that, yeah. And then it comes with uh, Hassan's own, um, it's kind of a dual rail. It has uh, both the uh, setup for the dovetail or the weaver, so you can do either one. It does not come, obviously, with this riser I put on here or the scope, so it does come with neither. It also does not come with the uh, Picatinny rails. And uh, I've talked to you guys about these in other videos um, with the uh, split bipods. In fact, I've got a package together on these now, so if you guys are at all interested in those, I know some of you have been, just uh, please just shoot me an email and I can give you more information on that. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, Hassan's claiming that this gun will get uh, about 500 feet per, uh, 550 feet per second with a, a 44, I think, uh, 44.75 grain pellet. So we're going to test it out. We're going to see what type of foot-pounds of energy we actually get. They're also claiming this has about a 50-pound cocking effort. So we're going to take this out and test it and uh, see what type of performance we get. We have our Hetson 135 here. We're going to see what type of feet per second we get. Manufacturer claims that with the 44.75 grain pellets, what we're going to shoot, you get around 550 feet per second, which would be about 30 foot-pounds of energy. Let's shoot five over the crony and see what the heck we get out of this. All right, shot number one. 540. Hey, we're thin 10 feet per second. All right, shot number two. 542. That's pretty consistent. Shot number three. Five twenty nine. That dropped down a little bit. Shot number four. Five thirty five. And last but not least, shot number five. Five thirty. It's actually pretty respectable. Take a look at these numbers. Okay, let's move on to the next segment. We've got our Hassan 135, our 30 caliber. We're going to see what type of accuracy we get. We're going to shoot about 20 yards out here. And uh, let's see what type of grouping we're going to We're going to shoot five shots. We're going to shoot the um, JSW, um, the uh, 44.75 grain pellets. So let's shoot five of these and uh, let's see what we get. That 
wasn't exactly where I wanted it to go. But hey, it is what it is, let's see. Okay. Remember, we're going for grouping. Man, these are some big pieces of lead being pushed down there. All right, that's three. That's four. That kind of spread out from our other group. And let's do one more. Okay. That's funny. The last two went right in the bullseye. All right, that's your Hazan. 135, 30 caliber. Not too bad. A lot of foot pounds there. Let's move on to our next segment. Okay, we have our Hitsan 135 here. We got our Quattro trigger. Let's see what type of pull weight we can get. These triggers are kind of funny because the way they're set up, when you're actually pulling on the trigger, it's actually kind of pulling upward. So let's see uh, what type of uh, reading we can get here. All right. Okay, six pounds, 7.2 ounces. And like I said, it's kind of tough to get the angle on this because you're actually pulling up on it. It actually feels quite a bit lighter, but um, that's our reading. So let's move on to our next segment. All right, my favorite part of the review is the plinking. So we got our Hassan, 30 caliber, and we're actually gonna shoot 40 yards out with this. Some of you guys, how does a 500 foot per second uh, rifle shoot at 40 yards? Well, I've talked to you about this in other videos about kinetic energy and foot pounds of energy. The heavier the pellet is, the longer it takes to slow down. So we might get up to that 500 foot per second, but by the time we get to the target, it's still moving pretty good because of the weight. So we're going to demonstrate that. I'm going to shoot um, at five little targets up there. We'll see how good we can do. The wind's kind of a little um, breezy today but let me show you about how far back we are so from where we're sitting yes we're gonna shoot all the way up here at these targets so we're gonna be slinging a uh, JSB 44.75 grain pellet 40 yards so the pellet has a tendency to keep that foot pounds of energy longer because of the weight so let's see how well we do like typical on camera let's hope we shoot well okay let's start we're going to start from the right and work our way left so we're going to start with the first steel target there well that's good except we lost an extra target that happens all right let's get rid of that little pig And you see the authority this hits with at 40 yards. Now, I never liked Diet Coke. Those ones are kind of flat. I don't drink them. So I guess they make a pretty good target. Oh, yeah. And we got one more. Let's finish the other guy off. All righty. And... Yeah, that's your Hassan 30 caliber brake barrel. The largest pellet brake barrel out there. You can see how much fun it can be. All right, let's move on. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion. Um, I have to say, wow, this is an impressive gun. Let me talk about the negatives real quick. Uh, the negatives on this would be the fact that there's only five different 30 caliber pellets you can get for this. JSB makes two of them. 44 plus grain um, pellet, a 50 grain, and then you have H&N makes another 44 plus grain, 
And then you have your uh, Predator Polymags, and then Hudson makes a, a 30 caliber pellet. So you're kind of limited on the, uh, the manufacturers as far as being able to get pellets for it. So that's a negative. Um, the other negative, it's got a 50 pound caulking effort, but what do you expect? You're pushing out anywhere between 44 and 50 grains of pellet down range. It's gonna, there's gonna definitely need to be an effort in caulking the gun. That's pretty much the only negatives that I can see with this. Um, you saw that they're claiming about 550 feet per second. We got a high of 542, um, average 538. We're getting over 28 foot-pounds of energy, which is actually very impressive. And that does qualify for the most powerful brake barrel. Um, I was getting a little higher um, velocity when this gun was newer, and now it's settled in right around 540 feet per second. That's uh, pretty much where you're at. But you see the power we can get out of this. You saw the impact at 40 yards. Unbelievable. And again, we talk about it's because it's that heavy pellet. It might only go 500 and plus feet per second, but then again, it takes a while for that to slow down. Those pellets were actually embedding themselves into the backstop from 40 yards. So, but what a great gun. Um, gun weighs about just under 10 pounds without the scope, so it is definitely a heavy gun. I really like the adjustable uh, rear cheek piece, and it's an ambidextrous stock, so you can shoot it from either side, which is great. Good for us left-handers. Um, I love how quiet it is. We talked about how quiet it is. That quiet energy um, suppressor works really well on this thing. So overall, yeah, not bad. Even the Quattro trigger is pretty nice. That's about a six pound trigger pull. And uh, it, it doesn't quite feel like that. It feels a little bit lighter. So overall, um, what a neat gun. And 30 caliber. How often do you get to shoot a 30 caliber brake barrel air gun? I mean, we showed you in the beginning um, the difference between the size of the pellets. It's just... A 30 caliber pellet is just it's so impressive when you're shooting anywhere between a, you know, a 45 into a 50 grain pellet down range. It's definitely impressive. So with that, because this is the only one, oh, and I forgot to touch base on this. It does not come with the Picatinny rails or the bipods. Those are something that I added. We talked about that earlier. I just wanted to remind you of that. But it does make a really nice shooting platform. So with that, uh, this gun, getting four and a half stars. Because it is one unique 30 caliber powerful air gun and it is really a lot of fun to shoot as I demonstrated so again if you haven't subscribed please subscribe hit the little bell and then please give us some feedback love the thumbs up that's always a it's always a positive for us so we know we're going in the right directions so until next time stay tuned for air gun detectives where we take the mystery out of the air gun